Hey, it's Pastor Robert. Hey, it's Kim. How is everyone doing? We sure miss you guys and hope that you guys are taking this time to um, do several things. Uh, maybe clean your house, um, try some new dinners out that we have tried. I've never cooked so much in my life. <laughs> Thanks, Keto. Um, taking a walk, um, read a new book. But we really hope that you've been um, able to get some time in the Word and just spend some one-on-one -on -one quality time with um, our Lord. And if you have little children, then that might be hard. But we do hope maybe that you found a family book to do together, Bible study, and just um, have fun. Uh, remember, this is a time of not um, being sad and sorrowful and woe is me, why has this happened to me, why am I stuck in the house with him or them or the dogs or whatever. But um, make it a fun time where your kids are going to look back on this and say, remember what we did during this time or what we ate during this time and what silly things we did and silly stories and how we gave all praise and glory to God. So at this time, we do want to read some scripture to you. So Pastor Robert's going to start. Uh, one of my favorite scriptures for finding comfort is from Isaiah 41. Uh, verse 10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you and I will uphold you by my righteous hand. In verse 13, you're going to read that one? Yep. For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. Amen. Uh, we're praying for you and can't wait to get back to, to being with you in church. Everyone take care. Happy Resurrection Day. He is risen indeed. Amen. Good morning, Sunday School. I wish I could come back to you, but it won't let me because of the coronavirus. And I wish I can come back, but I can't, so bye. Tell them happy Easter. Have a happy Easter. We wish that we could be at church with everyone celebrating Jesus' resurrection, but we send greetings to our church family from our self-isolated home. Especially in these tough times, we just thank Jesus for dying on the cross for our sins. He died for us, so we live for him. Corona lock-in. Day unknown. Phew. Two things I do know. One... I'm not essential to the federal government. Woohoo! <laughs> Two, in John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to celebrate Resurrection Day. Jesus was crucified on Friday, and on Sunday he got up, paid my sin debt. I know of no other gift. If you don't have Jesus, please. Please get to know him. Have a great resurrection day. Miss everybody at church. Can't wait to get back there. Hi, church Hi, family. Church family. Um, during this scary time, and we, we really miss seeing you guys. Um, mm -hmm. uh, one thing that really brings me peace is the word of God. And my go-to verse uh, when I start feeling a little fearful is John 16, 33. And Jesus is speaking, and he says, I have told you these things so that you may have peace um, in me. Uh, in this world, you'll have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Yep. And for me, you know, resurrection to me really means that I have a peace, I have a joy, I have a, I have a hope. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we need during this time. So uh, thank you. We, we love being part of this church family. Yes, we do. Um, so uh, God bless all of you. Bye. Take care. Bye. Hi, everyone. This is Jean and Laura. During our time that we've been at home, we decided to build a chicken coop, and we've got some chickens in there. I don't know if you can see them, but we just wanted to reach out and hope everybody is doing well during this time. We do miss everyone at church, <laughs> and uh, and Jean would like to say something. Hello, Ger Germantown Baptist Church. Just want to say hello. Miss everyone. Um, it's been it's been really different. Um, um, I'd like to say one thing. I um, picked out a verse, and um, it's one that I thought was fitting for uh, tomorrow, or actually today. And it's um, John five twenty four. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me as eternal life, 
he does not come into judgment but has passed uh, from death to life um, it was um, one that I read that was very meaningful touching but again I hope everyone's doing well can't wait to get back get the family back together <laughs> and have some food and just have some good times hello everybody have a great day tomorrow and happy resurrection yes he is risen bye Hey everybody, it's Lindsay and Graham here, and we just wanted to make a little video to let you guys know that we're thinking of everybody. We miss you guys, and we are praying for uh, safety and health and the sanity of everybody during this crazy time. Um, hopefully we can use this. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we can use this time to dig in deeper to God's word or maybe to dig deeper into the relationships that he's given us with our friends and family or to catch up on rest or maybe to finish that laundry that we just keep putting aside. Yeah. Uh, but today I also wanted to share with you guys a song that I think just fits perfectly um, during this whole time. And it's probably a song that we all know from our childhood. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 All right, guys, we love you. And hopefully we'll see each other soon. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Lindsay, David, and Graham, and we just, wanted to, we just wanted to say Happy Resurrection Sunday, and we miss you guys, and we're praying for everybody's safety, and health, and sanity during this time. So we're going to sing you guys a little song. Um, take it away, David. Happy Resurrection Happy Sunday Resurrection from the Peters. Sunday. Say bye. Bye. Hi, this is the Fosters. We're all doing just wonderfully here in Germantown, wishing you the very best during this Holy Week. And we hope that you're all safe and doing as well as we are. Thank you. Bye. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Uh, we just want to... Hey everyone, it's the Walker family. Just want to say that we miss everyone and can't wait to see y'all's faces again. Um, what resurrection means for our family is that Jesus died for our sins, rose again, and now we're free to live in his power. Thank you very much. See you later. Say bye. He is risen. Hi. Hi. We just want to wish everyone a happy Resurrection Sunday. Let's continue to pray for one another. And he is risen. He is risen indeed. Sophie, what day is Sunday? Easter. Patrick, why is Easter important to you? Easter is important to me because it's the day that Jesus rose from the dead after being crucified on the cross. What are you guys thankful for this Easter? Sophie? Um, family and Jesus, good health. Patrick? <clears throat> Basically what Sophie said, and also having a good church to go to, and having a good house to live in. So. Very good. What have you guys been doing since you've been in, cooped up in this house? Um, <clears throat> watching movies and <clears throat> going on bike rides. Good.
um, walking the dog, playing video games with my dad and by myself, and doing a workout. Bye, bye, everyone. We miss you. Matthew 28, verse 1. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to view the tomb. Suddenly there was a violent earthquake because an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and approached the tomb. He rolled back the stone and was sitting on it. His, his appearance was like lightning and his clothes were white as snow. Guards were so shaken from fear of him that they became like dead men. The angel said to the women, do not be afraid. For I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. As he said, come, see the place where the Lord lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has been raised from the dead. In fact, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. Listen, I have told you. So, departing quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy, they ran to tell his disciples the news.